Hey y'all, let's take a look at multiplying mixed numbers. And let's just go back and do something very quickly. When you see something like this, the easiest thing to do is, you know, as much as you can, cancel out. Way easier. So like if you see 8 11 times 22 over 6, just go ahead and cancel that and go, that's 2 over 1. Um, 2 goes into 8 4 times. 2 goes into 6 3 times. You can cancel again if you want to. It looks like you can't. So 4 times 2 is 8 over 3, boom, a lot easier than going 8 times 22 over 60, you know, then, then reducing again and again and again, which drives you crazy. So, all right, we're going to do something slightly different, but mostly the same. And again, a lot of this algebra stuff we do in Saxon Algebra 1 half and Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 and Advanced Math and all that is just taking something that looks new and turn, uh, turning it into something we've already done before. So we have already done this before, right? So all we need to do is turn that into something that we've done before. By the way, you don't have to do this, but if you look at this, you're gonna go, well, the answer is about four, right? Four and a third times about six divided by five is about one. So four times one is one. This answer will be probably around four or five, probably more closer to five because it's uh, high. Each one of these is a little more than one, um, a little more than four, a little more than one. So when you get an answer, and it says, you know, oh, I got the answer, 8,372 8, over 11, um, that ain't five. So you did something wrong. So that's way too high. So that's one way to quickly check yourself before you do this. But anyway, let's make this look like an oldie, like we did in the last slide. So four and a third, we know three times four is 12, plus one is 13. So 13 thirds times six fifths. Now don't sit there, just blindly do this. I mean, go ahead and cancel as soon as you can, all right? Look at there, three there, gone. And there's a two, okay? 13 times two, 26 over five, there you go. What's 26 divided by five? Five and a little left over. Perfectly reasonable answer, okay? So we know we got that one right, unless we got it wrong, okay? Same thing here, look at that monstrosity. I mean, take all of these things and go, ugh, you know, make them into you know, improper fractions. So still though, I'd go, okay, two times three, that's six, six times five is 30. Probably a little more than that because there's more fractional parts. So I don't know, about 35 or something? I don't know, that's just a guess. All right, two and a fourth, we'll go, that is nine fourths, times three and a third, 10 thirds, times five and a 12, five times 12 is 60 plus one. There you go. Okay, well, let's start hacking here. Ugh, I do not want to multiply all those across and then do that, so forget it. Look at there, nine and three, that's gone. There's a three there. And that's gone, okay? So, oh, look, 10 and four. So there's a two goes into that five times, two goes into four two times, all right? Look at here, three and 12, the same thing, look at that. So three goes into 12 four times, three goes into three one times, okay? Now we got nothing else, we got five, four, that's about all we can do, right? So five times 61, what's five times 60? What's five times six? Right, so five times 60 is 300, but one more, so 305. Two times four is eight. There you go. Now in the back of your book, they might have actually written down, you know, well, you know what, let's just do it. So eight into 30 goes three times, right? Oh, we can do that, long hair, I still have long division. Eight into 30 goes three times, right? What's left over? Six is left over, okay, so eight into 65, that goes eight times, and there's one left over, right? So 38 and one eighth is our answer. Our guess was what, 35? Pretty good guess, okay. All right, let's try another one. Pause and copy this. Same old thing here, don't get, you know, flustered just because it looks kind of weird. Let's just turn these into, you know, um, improper fractions. So two and an eighth is 17 eighths. And that's, we could just put divided by, it's the same thing. Three and two thirds, three times three is nine plus two is 11, boom. You know how to do dividing fractions. You just flip the second one, right? So it's gonna be times three over 11. Now I don't see a thing here you can cancel out at all. This is a mess anyway. Think about this. This is about two divided by about four. What's two divided by four? About a half, right? A little more than a half, because this is a little less than four, it's a little more than two. So whatever you get here, it should be a little more than half. 17 times three, well, 10 times three is 30. Seven times three is 21. 30 plus 21, yoink, there we go. 
8 times 11, we all know that one. And there you go. That's it. 51 over 88. As far as you can go. Okay, let's try another one. Oh, what a disaster. All right, pause it a second and copy it. In fact, you want to do this. Go ahead right now and write each one of these, not as a mixed number, but as a, an improper fraction, each one. So go ahead and pause and do that. Okay, I'm assuming you paused. 8 times 4 is 32 plus 1. Divided by 2 and a fifth. That's going to be 11 fifths. Times 3 and a fourth. That would be 13 fourths. Divided by 5 and a half or 11 halves. Okay. All right. Well, if you're dividing by 11 fifths, that means you're multiplying by 5 elevenths, right? Okay, so let me go ahead and change that. Multiplying by 5 elevenths. Okay, and over here, if you're dividing by 11 halves, you're multiply, multiplying by 2 elevenths, right? So, yunk, out of there, gone, and you're going to multiply by 2 elevenths. Okay. Yeah, this is awful looking. Anyway, okay, well, let's do some crossing here. 33 and 11, gone. That's going to be a 3. Um, 2 and 4, that's a good one. Out of there, and then there's a 2. Okay, any other things we can... Uh, that looks like it's about it, doesn't it? Okay, well, the top we have 3 times 5 times 13, and the bottom we have 8 times 2 times 11. Man, this is a mess. Okay. 3 times 5, 15 times 13 is 195. 8 times 2 is 16 times 11, 176. Yeah. All right. Well, it's kind of weird. But let's look at this. Let's estimate. 4 divided by 2 is about 2, right? 2 times 3 is about 6. 6 divided by 5 and a half, it's about 1, right? Is this about 1? That's a reasonable answer, right? Because 195 is a, you know, divided by 176 is about one. So, you know, that's a reasonable answer. So, all right. Okay, try the practice problems on page 143. There are four of them. So pause it and try the first one. Okay, let's do this. Uh, so we got 17 fourths times 8 ninths. All right, and let's chop. Boom, that's gone. There's a 2. 17 times 2 is 34. Divided by 9. By the way, 34 divided by 9 is about 4, right? Well, let's see if it's reasonable. Uh, 4 times about 1 is about 4. Totally reasonable. Okay, pause it and try B. Okay, let's try it again. Let's just, for the heck of it. Okay, 2 times 1 and a half is about 3. 3 times 3 and a third is about 9, 10, 10-ish. Our answer should be somewhere around 10, right? Okay, so let's rewrite. The 9 fourths times one and a half, that's three halves, times three and a third, ten thirds. Okay, let's chop, chop, chop. Uh, let's see here. I got ten and I got two. That's a nice one. That's a five. Oh, look, three and three. Didn't that make you just happy to do that? Okay. Uh, nine times five is 45 divided by four. We said the answer was about 10, right? What's 45 divided by four? 11. Pretty good. So there we go. All right. Try C. Pause it and copy. Okay, top three and a fourth, that's 13 fourths. Divided by two and a fifth, that's 11 fifths, right? But if you divide by 11 fifths, that means you multiply by five elevenths, right? By the way, the answer overall, you know, it's like what, one and a half maybe, something like that? Three divided by two? Eh, I don't know. Okay, I, ugh, you can't cancel a thing here, can you? But 13 times five is 65. Four times 11 is 44. I mean, 65 divided by 44, we said it was about one and a half. What is that? 1.47. Uh, that's uh, pretty good. Okay. So that's uh, 4772. You know, that's a pretty good answer. So that's about one and a half. Okay. All right. Go ahead and pause it and try the very last one. Okie doke. Let's do it again. Four and two thirds. What is that? Um, 14 thirds. Divided by 1 and 1 6, that's 7 6. I'm just going to go ahead and just skip a step here. If you divide by 7 6, that means you multiply by 6 7 Okay? If you're going to multiply by 2 and a third, that's 7 thirds. And if you divide by 1 and 2 thirds, that's going to be 5 thirds. But if you divide by that, that means you multiply by 3 fifths, right? Okay, now let's start chopping. Ooh, look at this. Uh, we got 3s, gone. 
We got sevens. Wink, gone. Ooh, six and three, that's even nicer. Okay, so what is that? Two over one. And we have a 14, we got a two, we got a five. So 14 times two over five, that's about five or six, right? Okay, so it's about five divided by one is about five. Five times two is 10. 10 times a little more than one. I mean, that's, you know, that's somewhat reasonable. Okay, there you go. Okay, that's it. All right, good luck on these. Do the best you can and uh, see you next time. Take care.